Hey guys, this is Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I want to cry so much right now. Now, I wonder if they're going to interact today. I mean, like, honestly, I would want Ida and Say to interact, I think would be really interesting and such. But, I mean, here's hoping that we get it, please. I would love it. But if they don't, it's okay. I understand why they maybe want, don't want these two to possibly interact. Because, I mean, I get it. But still, it would be nice. Please and thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay. Smart. Yes, because this is what I really wanted. Oh, but she won't. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, honey, this is real. Yeah, that, yeah, that's a real sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not only because, of course, Kyle like immediately assumed that Ida was this thing. I think it's also because he had like maybe attracted her, even though he's you know Elizabeth's fiance.
Put that blue one. I like the blue one more. Aww. You won't even ever get to see them again. You be one hundred percent sure, like Like, what do you want her to do? You want her to heal something? Someone? Really, very beautiful. She just needs time. Oh. True. I mean, yeah, he's very sweet to you, but when it came to freaking say, he was like, I don't give an F about her and just, mm. She's so cute, oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
and see the way she's being taught versus the way, like, Say is, it's completely different. She gets to go to school. Well, technically, both of them are going to school, but her, like, she gets a uniform and everything. Say got a cute dress. And I mean, I love both outfits, but seriously, like, you can see the dynamic from, like, two different uh, POVs. Seriously, like, how the fuck can you be so nice to her? But when it comes to say, you're like, no, no, no. Well, of course, <laughs> jealous woman. Poor baby. Lost that opportunity so quickly. Every Tuesday around this time they want to do this shit.
もう<laughs> She might fall for him. I really think it. Like, I mean, we all know Kyle is taken, so, I mean, like, really, who gives an F? But she might fall for him. Everybody believes that, you know, Say might be the new Saint instead of Ida. So, mm. Exactly. I don't think she would, but once again, she would have to adjust to it. Hell, you took it from saying too, and you think you give a shit about that? No. Elizabeth? Nothing, just talking to her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, seriously, he is very hard-headed, though. Who 
would just be nice for like not only her but all three of them would be friends but no you don't want to do that <laughs> Like, seriously, just please, just, just do it, please, like, let them be friends. Yes! Because you need friends. All you have is Kyle and the rest of them, but it's not enough. You need someone to just relate to and talk to, especially say. Poor baby. I hope, I really do, I really 100% enjoyed this. This was something that I had needed ever since episode one to get Ida's POV because, you know, we've gone so six weeks with, say, being our main character because she is our main character. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, because I never truly said it, I was just going to wait until, like, maybe this week or next week and be like, okay, you know what I really, really want? An episode on <laughs> the other girl, on Ida, because she's very, um... Huh. important <laughs> to the plot of this show as well because you know even though she is the I, I don't want to call her a fake saint she's not the true saint like they is but to get her story and her point of class and what her journey has been from the beginning of the series to um the most recent episode because like I said these two have never really um talk to each other and it would have been nice for her to make friends with both elizabeth and say especially say because of the fact is they both come from the same place even though one is a worker and another one is a teenager even her looking at the blue dress and just getting reminded of the part where her and her family were taking a picture together and she wore a, a pink dress but it seems like maybe she wanted to wear the blue it was very interesting <laughs> if only We just say in episode eight is episode eight. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. No complaint in here. But still, even at the end of this episode and her literally seeing the exact same thing that we saw at the beginning of the episode and the fact that she still um, necessarily wants to extend a, like, a friendship, somewhat of a friendship, um towards Elizabeth and say and she still can't because Kyle always comes at the worst fucking times and I wish he would just like um stand her ground and say like you know just a, wait one second or a moment I need to do something because she wants girlfriends she really does because even looking at the other girl back and forth like they were having a moment like they could possibly you know talk for a second but because those other two girls came in and with her eyebrow as one was raining and said, you know, hey, like, come with us and stuff. And she turns back and she looks at her. That was a missed opportunity for her. And even now, she's still missing opportunities to um, befriend someone, especially someone from the same sex as her. Because of the fact is, and specifically someone who has come from, you know, the planet Earth, from Tokyo, Japan herself and such and so you just want her to just have a moment or like not even a moment like just a couple of episodes where this friendship gets established and it's just like she has to extend it she she in a way like any one of the three girls could make um that first step or take that first step but really it's just it, in my opinion and from a, in the way it looks it's like Ida, she needs to take that first step for her to be a better person because not no no offense because she is a better person from what she's 
looked like from the beginning of this mo- th- this movie, this fr- this episode to the end of it. She has grown as a better person, but she still lacks that confidence inside of her to make that first step and be like that one, almost like a social butterfly and immediately wanting to talk to someone because I know we all have that problem and such we all get a little you know nervous to talk to someone else because we don't know how someone is going to perceive us or the way they look at us usually either sometimes it's like you know what first impressions by the way we look but because of the fact is like even till by the end of this episode she still hasn't made that that you know effort it doesn't mean that she's not going to continue to be like that i think she is going to make an effort we're just probably going to see it from episode eight to the end of this series but once again like that's the biggest thing that i want is for these three to have a friendship or something out of it because yes two of these people share something they share a connection that they were both summoned to do something and one could be the real saint while the other one could be possibly the fake saint but if say is the true one it is still wondering like what is going to happen to Ida is she going to be um a melee place where say is currently living in ish there's a lot of unanswered questions with it what they could possibly do to her character will they switch you know roles and stuff will say live in the palace and will um ida live where say lives like i said once again a lot of unanswered more more questions rather than answers but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven <clears throat> of this thing it's magic powers omnipotent if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next tuesday for episode eight bye guys